Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 in our roleplay series as the Lusignan family. So last episode, we left off with this rebellious count who did not want to give up his title. I think it makes sense for us to take his title for many reasons. I don't think any, any duke uh, in this period would want to see uh, lands leave outside of his control. And of course, his son is a count yeah, right over here. Uh, so, so yeah, we, we did not want that to, to leave our control. But most importantly, notice that our uh, friend over here is cynical. Uh, we cannot have somebody who questions our faith, our religion, in control of a county. Uh, we must teach him the error of his ways. So I think it makes sense for us to take this from him. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing here in the beginning of the episode. Uh, before we start, though, I would like to mention... A couple things. Uh, first of all, sorry that the video is going to be a little bit late. Uh, it's, we've just had a... Obviously, it's Monday, and we always have trouble getting videos out on Monday because of me working on Sunday, and I worked a weird shift on Sunday, too. A little bit different than than usual. And then on top of that, we've got a sick kid in the house as well. My daughter has a stomach bug, so we were up like all night on Saturday night with her. I got like maybe two hours of sleep before I had to go to work, so that was pretty unfortunate. So I slept a lot today. She's still actually home from school today. Uh, so, so yeah, this video is going to be uh, out fairly late, probably late in the evening, so sorry about that. And then secondly, uh, just to address some of the things you guys brought up uh, from the last episode in regards to the role playing in this series. So one person had noted that maybe as a slothful person, uh, it didn't make sense for us to train our own hunting dog. Uh, and then of course that did result in us becoming diligent. And yeah, I agree with that. Maybe it didn't uh, entirely make sense. I was looking at it, you know, the whole hunting aspect of us, of course, is, you know, not really, you know, playing to our slothfulness. Uh, you know, with us being slothful, I think we, we do things that we enjoy, uh, like hunting, uh, rather than, you know, being a good ruler as we should. Uh, but of course, we have changed our mindset. Uh, the Crusades have changed our character, and we have became a very very zealous character. Uh, so we are attempting to, to correct any of our vices in life. So slothfulness, of course, was a sin that we committed regularly, and I think it is something that we would want to, to correct. Um, secondly, uh, another thing that was, was brought up was the fact that me changing our capital to, to here may not have made a lot of sense. As I had mentioned, uh, I think he kept his capital here historically in La Marche, uh, but it would have probably made more sense because I did want to move it from this one since this is the worst of our four provinces. It probably would have made more sense to move it to uh, Anglume because Anglume is one, a very important province. Uh, and then it's also, as I, I think I mentioned last episode, it's where uh, our character was was buried too. So yeah, I think it makes sense. It's also a very good province. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to change it to this one as soon as we can. Uh, we can't do it right now because we're currently in conflict. And that also means we'll start building this one up too. Uh, once we finish up this conflict. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We need to raise up our our armies so that we can uh, get this count wrapped up. This shouldn't take very long. It should be pretty uh, pretty easy. He does actually have a little bit larger army than I was expecting. Uh, yeah, 1,200 men. That's, that's not bad at all. In fact, it's enough where I think I am going to go ahead and, and raise up the vassal levies uh, too. So I know that, and it looks like he's going to go around this way. We should probably... Come over here. Where's he going to? Um, he is going right there. Yeah, we'll want to engage him there. Uh, that's fine. Or maybe we'll let him attack us. Uh, we'll have to see what he ends up doing here. Let's get all of our armies. Oops, I did not move everybody here. Um, yeah, let's get all of our armies assembled. It does seem he's now moving over to there. Uh, we might be able to beat him. I don't know. Let's take a look. We have, you know what we'll do? Uh, first, we should probably gonna merge these guys so I can get my leaders appointed. Uh, we want to go ahead and make ourselves, once again, the leader of the center. We're not the best commander, but uh, we are a crusader. We have experience. We don't want to let anybody lead for us. And then uh, we also need to give out some minor titles. We need a new commander. We don't really have a lot of options here. And we've got that really guy, good guy, Gilbert, here, uh, the hunter. I think that's the guy we met on that event. Uh, he's also a fantastic commander, so I think it works out fine that he's going to be uh, leading in that role. And let's go ahead and see if we can't get here in time. Uh, I think we should. Yeah, we'll get there at 13th and he is locked. So he will, uh, not be able to leave that. And hopefully we got there. Yes, we are on the defense. Excellent. So we should be able to wrap this guy up fairly easily, get him defeated. There we go. 
uh, got our uh, change in war score was was substantial. Uh, let's go ahead and get over here and get this this province taken. So another thing that was brought up was uh, you know that our character is is, is quite religious. Uh, so it would make sense for us to join one of the religious orders, like the Benedictine order. And I think that is exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, we're we're gonna wait till we get a little bit older. I think it makes more sense for our character as an older character to to then want to uh, continue his religious path. Uh, and there's some other things I'd like to focus on early on here. Uh, obviously, we have, you know, some things we need to to deal with uh, that are pretty important. Uh, you know, obviously, we're trying to get get heirs, and it looks like we did not destroy him. Okay, I thought he was destroyed, but he was not. Uh, how far are we from finishing this up? Yeah, this is, we'll go ahead and let this finish up then, because that should put us at 100%. All right, excellent victory, and we are getting some good money from this as well uh, so let's go ahead and finish up the conflict uh offer him peace and enforce our demands and arrest this guy uh and in our prisons he will learn the errors of his um his cynical ways all right so we can go ahead and disband our military we don't need this any longer and we now have control of the count all right so we will need to go ahead and take his his title from here but one thing i'm noticing is that both his daughters uh, have recently Recently died. Oh no, this one was from 1225, but this one just recently died. Uh, so he is in the middle of grieving for his youngest daughter. Lost both of them in the dungeons of King Richard II. Oh no, this was King Henry III. Never mind. All right, so I almost feel bad for him a little bit. But, you know, this is not a personal matter. I don't have anything against the guy. Uh, and we're not going to do anything other than taking his title. As I said, I really feel like uh, we need to... We need to teach him uh, the error of his ways. And if we go with the Benedictine monks, uh, you do get some powers that let you influence the traits of others. Uh, so that could be kind of cool. All right, so now that is wrapped up, let's just take a look here and see what happened. I see that we did finish up building um, building that, that building in our main province here. Uh, let's go ahead and see how long we have to wait before we can do this. Uh, looks like you can't do it again until... Uh, not allowed to move capital again until 479 months. Okay, so it's gonna be a little while uh, before we're able to do it. That's fine. Um, so we're gonna be stuck here. Um, that's that's all right. Uh, we'll change it the moment we get an opportunity to do so. Um, but we will go ahead and start building the city up for right now. We'll go ahead and build up to Castle Walls 3 here with a little bit of money we have. We don't have a ton of money. Uh, we need to go ahead and deal with our new prisoner. Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, what I think we're gonna do, because I said, I feel like he needs to learn uh, the error of his just s sacrilegious ways. So we're going to have him go to a holy order where he'll learn how to be a good Christian. Uh, let's send him to, yeah, let's send him to the Knights. Yes. Uh, so uh, this does result in us losing piety for doing it, um, which which I think is a represent that you're forcing somebody, somebody to go, uh, you know, when they should be you know going there on their own uh, but that's okay uh, I feel like it's worth the piety loss uh, so uh, another anti-pope has been set up as well and then the other thing that I realized that we haven't done yet is we never did give our uh, our ward here we never did give him a uh, you know a focus so let's go ahead and do that I, I noticed that he did get rowdy uh, which means that he's not going to be as good at the intrigue uh, so he might get a lower uh, intrigue education trait, but you know what? I still want to, to push him towards this. He does have a high intrigue. So let's go ahead and have him do that. And then looking at his traits, he's cynical, which is actually a good thing for us because he's he's technically uh, Muslim. So, so it's good that he's questioning the Muslim faith. Uh, then he's paranoid and then he's deceitful, both very good for his intrigue. So uh, I think he's gonna make a fantastic spy master. And he's our best friend, too. Uh, so we can now advance, invest in uh, techn technological advance. Uh, I almost swallowed my tongue when a friendly courtier paid me res paid his respects to me. He thought I was displeased with him, and he left perplexed. Okay. Uh, and then we can go ahead and advance uh, something along the cultural track here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and invest in legalism. All of them are almost filled anyways, guys. So this is not going to be all that expensive. We're going to go ahead and advance legalism. And I'm... I'm also, I know that a lot of uh, a lot of people that are coming to the series on my channel are not extremely familiar with CK2. Uh, you know, they might be coming from Hearts of Iron 4. And just like with EU4, I'm going to try and balance uh, between talking about features and, you know, what I'm doing and why I'm doing them uh, so that new players can kind of 
learn how to play the game uh, while also not boring people that are extremely familiar with the game. So I think I got a good balance in it in the EO4 series. I'm gonna try and do the same in this one. Uh, as far as handing out our titles, I would love to do it, uh, give out a couple titles. Unfortunately, there's not anybody to give a title to. Uh, I was looking across our court and there's just nobody that I'd be happy giving titles to. A lot of these guys are lowborn, uh, so I don't I don't really want to give them give them titles. Uh, there, I would raise I raise lowborn people up in certain circumstances in certain circumstance, uh, but yeah, none of them I think have have earned the right. Looks like the King of England has already died, man. They have been just flying through kings there. How did he die? Oh, he died in battle. Okay, it looks like he died in battle against the Irish. All right, um, he was a lunatic anyway. It's probably good that they. They got rid of that king. Uh, just taking a look at who the current king is. It looks like it is King Gilbert. Okay, they have switched dynasties as well. All right, so the Plantagenets are no longer in control of England. Very, very interesting. So uh, maybe we'll be able to take advantage of these these issues in England since we do want to expand our lands into here. Uh, looking at our neighbors here, uh, the king holds hold, holds this province here. Uh, this is held by the Duke of Berry. Duke of Berry holds all three of these provinces, so he's a natural rival for us since he is a neighbor to us. Uh, so yeah, that's a potential place for us to expand. Though I don't know if we really want to focus as ex uh, expanding any further as as Hugh the Tenth. Uh, as I said, I I think that. He's maybe not content, um, but I really think he really wants to focus on, one, raising his son, uh, and then two, uh, religious matters. Uh, so, good news, my lord. We have received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the county of Lusignan. All right, let's saddle my horse. We are going back on a hunt, guys. Uh, I think we're also going to be changing up our focus here uh, soon uh, to more religious matters. Uh, so... Got a new recruitment drive. Excellent. What are our current counselors doing? Also, one thing I noticed is that we do have two really good friends here. Uh, loyalists, I should say. One of them is a friend. Uh, currently in our council. So that does allow us to do whatever we want for the most part. We can kind of get things done very, very easily. Uh, I could have swore I sent that guy off. Did they not accept it or did I not send it? Maybe I, I messed it up. Let me just take a look here. Yeah, I didn't see a, a notification for them not accepting. They might not have. Hmm. Yeah, because I could have swore I sent him. Yeah, maybe they they didn't accept. He said, "Nah, I don't want your I don't want your guy." Uh, you have gathered your followers. Okay, so we're going on our hunt. Yeah, I don't recall seeing a message. Maybe it was in the low priority messages. No. No, I'm not seeing it. Uh, a large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. Uh, of course we will grant him shelter. They're very charitable. Uh, as evening falls, Fat Merchant sits by the fire and regals you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove it for host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. All right, tell me more about this mythical realm. Uh, dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you, to you, his new master, shall be beyond reproach. Um, yeah, I accept your gift. I'm not going to deny a gift. That'd be rude. Uh, fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the woods, and we got the old crone again. No, I'm not going to drink this again. I've learned my lesson. We are no longer going to partake in those weird drinks. Uh, you return to the court, and of course, we did not find the great white stag. Again, we've been... Uh, we have failed. Uh, so... Let's stop with the hunting. I, I really wanted to, to get a kill before uh, before we stop this here, but uh, yeah, I don't know. You know what? We'll give it one more year, and then we'll we'll try and switch up our focus. Uh, try and try and get a hunt done, a successful hunt done. Uh, and what is this? Okay, nothing to be concerned about. All right. Uh, so as I was saying, there's really not anybody for us to give the title to right now. Uh, our little little friend here. He's going to become, be coming of age soon. I'm very curious to see how he does in his education. Uh, hopefully he gets a, a good one. Uh, of course, his, his childhood stats weren't, no, didn't, didn't look like they were uh, the best for that job, but I think he'll be all right. I'm also seeing that we cannot change our laws yet. Unfortunately, it still says that we have not reigned for 10 years, which is not true. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that is. I think we became uh, the Count in 12... Uh, 19, 12, 19. Uh, so 
even if it was based off of when you started the game uh, at 1221 it should have gone already i'm wondering if this is counting for when we got our ducal title i'm going to take a wild guess that that is what it's based on i don't remember when we got the ducal title so it might be a couple more years unfortunately before uh we'll be able to uh change our our laws here uh, other than that, though, that's the only thing we're really waiting on. Uh, one thing you will notice is that the Queen of Cyprus is our kinsman. Uh, the uh, our, our dynasty actually existed as you know the rulers of Cyprus for quite some time after uh, they kind of declined here in France. Uh, so just one more interesting little tidbit of history. I noticed that I was a little bit worried uh, that that I spoke too long about the the history last time in that first episode. Uh, you know, because I talked about it for, I don't know, I think our intro and history lesson was like 15 minutes. Uh, so I was a little concerned that it was a little bit too long, but most people seem to, to not have mind. Uh, so yes, that's right. I was going to do a hunt this year and I forgot. All right, well, we'll have to do it. We'll have to do it next year then. Uh, so castle walls have been completed. Excellent. We don't have enough money to do anything else. Uh, and our son can now, he has finished up his childhood focus uh, and it looks like he got brooding. Uh, brooding is best for the stewardship uh, education not very good for the learning uh, as far as the stats go yeah there's not really anything uh, you know that would incline us to go with it one thing or another other than the fact that he's not a great great steward uh, I, I think we are still gonna go with martial education uh, you know that's what we wanted to do originally and his little childhood traits aren't really affecting those so yeah we're gonna go with that uh, hopefully he can be a crusader one day as well uh, and we can now introduce the heir to our realm that's right uh, I forgot that we had that focus uh, so we have invited our vassals to partake in a formal introduction of our heir, Hugh, which he would be Hugh the 11th, uh, and they will be here soon. So let's get our prestige from that, and looks like somebody has completed, oh, what was that? Damn it. Ah, I missed that. Something about Jerusalem. Uh, what's going on in Jerusalem? I had saw that the uh, Jihad had been successful for over here, so I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, yeah, it looks like, yeah, they are in control of Jerusalem. The Muslims are. Uh, I think the Pope needs to declare a crusade uh, to retake Jerusalem. Bishop Eben of Souvigny is a renowned, godly, and learned vassal of yours. After having introduced himself to Hugh, uh, Eben approaches you with an offer. Eben is willing to spend some time teaching Hugh some of the more intricate parts of the Bible in exchange for your favor. Well, yeah, anything for Hugh. Of course I want him to learn about some of the more challenging parts of the Bible. This would, of course, uh, increase his learning, and we would gain a bit of piety as well. Uh, we'd owe him a favor, but that's okay. Young Mahmud has finished his education in the ways of intrigue. I notice that with pride that he has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Look at that, he is an elusive shadow. That is awesome. Okay, uh, I am quite pleased with that. Uh, 28 intrigue, that was our uh, entire goal is to get him really, really good at intrigue and he has done a fantastic job at it. He's also shrewd. Uh, I think we had, had started with that trait. Uh, and he loves us, so um yeah I, I think let me just take a look here i would really like him to uh convert uh, so let's demand religious conversion i don't see why he wouldn't accept but i i don't feel comfortable having a muslim in my court uh, we are not that type of man <laughs> we do not allow that uh, so hopefully he will will accept it uh and shouldn't have any issues with that uh yeah it's we're still waiting there we go all right so of course he has been willing to submit to that. Now that he has converted to Christianity, uh, I, I feel comfortable giving him, uh, appointing him right, into our court here. Uh, we want to make him our spy master. I know that the mayor here will be a bit irritated, but frankly, his skills are just not up to the task. Uh, so let's go ahead and make him our uh, new spy master. And that will mean that we dominate the council with loyalists. So we can pretty much do uh, whatever we want, we don't even have to give favors, which is excellent. Uh, we will continue. We will continue to have him scheme. I think. Uh, I think that'd be for the best right now. Just make sure we don't have anybody doing anything. And, and like I said, after this hunt here this year, I am going to start focusing on religious matters. I think it makes sense for our uh, our current ruler. Uh, last thing we should do here before we let the let the time fly. Yeah, it's still not there, guys. Maybe 1234, 1235. I, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Uh, when that will will apply that 10 years, uh, but I'm not gonna bother even checking how our uh, uh, How our vassal opinions are doing right now All right, so I don't want this to go too fast because I flew right past the the date for the hunt last time And I definitely would like to throw you know or go on a hunt uh, and that we are still at conflict I think this is a rebellion here Yeah, it looks like we have oh, what's well, that's finished up looks like he wrapped it up excellent 
All right, so we are in September, my friends. Let's go ahead and go hunting, and I'm really hoping uh, that we have a successful hunt this time. Uh, thus far, it has not gone well for us. Did I pass right by it? Uh, where is my hunt? Here we go. All right, so let's try hunting the great white stag, and hopefully uh, this will be successful, because this is the last year I'm gonna go. If it's not successful, uh, then we're going to uh, all right, we're going to start focusing on our religion. On the hunt, you keep seeing a group of wolves from time to time. They only seem to appear when you are alone and when no one else is looking, however. It is all strangely exhil exhilarating effect on you. Or it has a strange exhilarating effect on you, making your blood run quicker and drawing out your hunting instincts. The hunt, I feel so alive. All right, so we are happy. Okay, so at the very least, we enjoyed our final hunt. Uh, on the hunt, you keep seeing... Okay, so did we just get the same damn event? It looks like we did. Uh, your marshal has initiated massive recruitment drive. Excellent. Uh, so the hunt is over for now. Uh, it was a truly noble endeavor and true challenge for our martial abilities. Uh, unfortunately, we did not, did not succeed. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and change up our focus, guys. I really think we ought to change over to theology. Uh, it's time. Uh, so we're going to change over to a theological focus, uh, and then we are also going to join Benedictine Order. So... It's going to be a great honor. Uh, we are delighted by your decision to join our ranks, lay member Duke. Together we shall strive for the betterment of ourselves and our fellow Catholics by following the rule of St. Benedict. All right, so it did cost a little bit of money. Uh, of course, we did <laughs> We did shave our head. Uh, that's, that's fine. I, I like the look. I dig it. So joining the order uh, does give us his first ability, uh, which uh, decreases our fertility but increases our monthly piety. Uh, and most importantly, we get the wisdom of St. Benedict. Uh, where our wards will gain a chance to increase attribute points during their education and upon reaching adulthood have a chance to lose wicked traits and gain pious ones so this will in fact help our heir considerably he is uncouth grooming and personal care are, exact, are not exactly priorities for this character so he's a dirty nasty little kid all right well that's that's all right he's, oh, boys are gonna be boys uh, oh i can't believe i said that that's not allowed in 2018 you're not allowed to say boys will be boys apparently because uh, that implies that you're okay in uh rape i guess uh, so, yeah, I'm not allowed to say that anymore. Sorry, my bad. Hopefully I didn't offend anybody. And as I said last episode, I am going to be cutting uh, any parts in between, like, events and stuff. Things where I'm really just sitting here, if I'm not talking about anything, you know, that's, that's important. Uh, you know, I usually don't do that in my series. Uh, but with this, this being Crusader Kings and with this being a roleplay series, I think I'd like to get as much content in the videos as possible without making, you know, the videos too long. Uh, so this allows me to make... You know, we can have a 30-something minute video uh, and then just cut out, you know, some of the, the fluff. Uh, so there'll be more more uh, actual content in it. Um, so hopefully you guys don't mind that because I don't usually do that. But we did get an event here. Apostate has been found. The court chaplain burst into your chambers, flanked by several men in arms, dragging... What? How dare they? It's... I... I he converted, man. <sighs> All right. So now I feel... I, I don't know how to deal with this because he's, he's our pal, man. I've known this guy since he was a kid. He is very lustful. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a shame um, that he, yeah, he has sympathy for the Muslim religion, of course, because he was forced to convert, or I, I requested that he converted. All right, so now that this is, leaves this kind of difficult because I'm not exactly sure how to deal with this because obviously we are quite zealous here. I have strong feelings for the boy. Uh, but we've given him the opportunity to convert. I've given him the chance to be a good Catholic, and he has not been a good Catholic. Uh, but because I have personal feelings for him, even though I'm zealous, I don't think burning him is is the way to go here. Uh, we could throw him in the dungeon, uh, and that would result in him getting branded, uh, and of course excommunicated as well. Uh, we can bring out the branding iron, not throw him into prison, or we can say let him go free, which yeah, I don't I don't agree with that. I think we're gonna have to brand him. Uh, I don't want to throw him in the prison, but yes, we we will have to brand him. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't learn, so it's a shame because he's such a fantastic spy master. Uh, so obviously, um, you know, you don't want to to do things like that. But you know what? He he still loves us, he still likes us quite a bit, um, even though we branded him uh, and he's excommunicated. Uh, and of course, we can imprison him if we so desire. Um, well, I wonder if. I mean, he's still technically Catholic, and we did brand him. I feel like that's a just punishment for the crime. Now, I would love to to declare war on the King of England here, and that's something we could definitely do. We do have claims on it. Uh, but 
I, I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to fight England uh, on my own. I, I don't know if France would get pulled into that, uh, you know, the entire kingdom. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think we'd we'd be able to win against England by ourselves. We're just not quite at that that level yet. So we'll wait. And once again, uh, our concerns are very religious now. Uh, we are focused on our faith, making sure that we uh, gain entry into heaven. While attending prayer one early morning, I noticed my brother uh, Prendota drowsing off in his seat. Meanwhile, our fellow members of the Benedictine order are deep in their contemplation and do not seem to have noticed. Of course, I shall wake him. Must pay attention. Uh, I gently prod at Prendota, but I get no reaction. Then I shove my elbow into his side, causing him to cough and open up his eyes. A flash of anger in them. His face turns red as he blinks, the situation dawning on him suddenly. Thank you, he mumbles. He sh mumbles sheepishly. Think, uh, think nothing of it, my friend. Uh, so this would make him grateful. Or we could say, it seems I saved you some real embarrassment there. No, no, no. It would give us a favor, but that was the least I could do. I'm sure he had a rough night. Uh, in prayer. Teutonic campaign. Prince jo Johan of Denmark has started planning a campaign against the pagans of the north. All right, well, by the sword. Uh, God's blessing upon you, Donatus Hugh. Uh, bringing the true faith and salvation to others is among the holiest of duties. Therefore, we ask of you to construct a new church in your land so your subjects may have somewhere to say prayers and worship. Uh, so this, uh, you know, gives us the mission to build a church. Uh, and to complete the mission, we must build a temple holding in a county out of our realm. I accept the mission. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Uh, it would be kind of kind of expensive. Uh, I also don't really want another church here, but of course, that's not our choice. Uh, we'd probably build it right here. Uh, it would cost 618, and that's why I don't think we'll actually be able to complete it. We'll try. We'll try and save up our money for it. If God demands it, uh, then it must be done. Uh, there is a man I need to arrest and another I want to assassinate. My spy master, Ma Mamad, could uh, help with either the arrest or the assassination, but not both. Well, I don't know who this this man is that we're attempting to arrest, but uh, it's mainly just a difference between arrest chance or uh, plot power increase. Uh, let's do the, the arrest chance, I guess. I mean, I don't see myself doing either right now. It's just not not our concern at the moment. Uh, but yeah, he is. Uh, we're going to get nice nice uh, events like that with him having such a high entry. Uh, ooh, what happened over here? Uh, and the Mongols have sacked Baghdad. Oh, Lord. All right, so with us starting at this, this date, and I think I have the uh, invasion set to historical. We will see the Mongols uh, invading in the east. Uh, so it does seem that uh, there's a conflict that has started over here. Uh, Queen Isabel II of Jerusalem has accepted King Louis. The lines offered to join the Portuguese Jer uh, Jerusalemite. Uh, okay, I see, I see. So it's a war in the Holy Land. All right, so this is in fact not uh, in the Holy Land, not over the Holy Land. This is over this province right here. So therefore, we are not going to be helping with that. We're not going to get involved. It's uh, not important for us. Okay, uh, I almost feel like it's 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 not good to have him. I don't know. Let me know your guys' opinion. Uh, I, I feel like maybe we shouldn't have him as our, our one of our counselors, since he does have the sympathy for the Muslim religion. Now he is, as far as we know, a good Catholic, uh, but he's a branded apostate as well. So I just feel like this is is not right. Uh, him. And being in this this role, I almost feel like we shouldn't have him here. And it's not like we exactly need uh, his support uh, necessarily. Yeah, I feel like this is this is doesn't doesn't work. I think we should make the mayor. Uh, yeah, let's make the mayor here. Uh, I don't think he should. Uh, he's my friend. I raised him from from a young boy. Uh, you know, met him in the Crusades. But religion is far too important for us uh, for him to to hold such an important important role in our court. Unfortunately, we did have to remove him. Uh, your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed around the realm. Among others, it is quite impressed uh, Bishop Heli of a place <laughs> you have maintained correspondence on various religious and philosophical matters for some time and find that you are rapidly becoming good friends. All right, we have another good friend here. We actually have an abundance of friends. We have three of them, and two of them are bishops. And we are definitely friends with men of religion. As he has grown older, I can see that Hugh could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Hugh. So we could say he deserves greatness, go get it, which would of course make us rivals with him and gain him the ambitious trait. Uh, we could say be thorough, make others count on you. Uh, this would uh, give him the diligent trait, but would make us stressed out. Make your move at the right time. Uh, he will gain patience, and we will get eight up out of patience. Uh, so I think we should tell him to be thorough, be a diligent man. Uh, this will stress us out a little bit, but I'm okay with it. I think it's 
Uh, we definitely want to be a good parent to our only son. One and only son. It's the only boy that we had. Only child that we had, really, because we're not really counting Jeffrey as, as actually having, <laughs> having been born here since that was a uh, paradox doing something weird. Uh, the world will not weigh me down anymore. I have a new spring in my step, enjoy my heart, and smile on my face. And we already lost the stress trait. And that's one of the great things about, you know, living your life for God. Uh, you don't have to be worried about such, such concerns. And as I said, I would love to give some of these titles out, uh, give a county or two out. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have anybody in our court that's, that's worthy. Uh, so almost all of them are lowborn. Uh, so I don't want to give it to a lowborn person unless they've really earned it. With a couple exceptions, uh, but this guy here, he's not the most religious individual. Uh, so I don't want to give it to him. Uh, and then, you know, we have our physician and yeah, the rest are all lowborn. So we don't really have anybody to give it to. Of course, we could, you know, request to get a noble and just give it to a random guy. Uh, but you know what? This is this is fine as it is. Uh, if there's nobody worthy of the title, then we're not giving it to, to anybody. Uh, but this is the end of the episode, unfortunately, guys. Um, I like that we're able to, uh, you know, have uh, the, the regular size videos, which are easier to, to upload and stuff. Uh, you know, while also having, uh, you know, getting getting further along in the game. Uh, so, uh, looking here at our order, I did notice that we were getting a lot of devotion, devotion uh, mainly probably from all of our, our stats. Uh, so, in order to rank up to the next uh, to the next rank, we will need to get 750 uh, devotion. Of course, we have to be in the rank for three years as well. Uh, but yeah, that is definitely our focus right now. Uh, it's just kind of getting our son. It looks like he has the chase trait as well. It's a good trait to have, except for, you know, and it's not great for having more kids. Uh, but, but yeah, we uh, are doing a good job raising him. I feel like he's, he's going to be a decent a decent man if we can just get him past his uncouth habits. But yeah, this is going to be the end of the second episode. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that we did get to play this. I was a little bit concerned I wasn't ever going to get to play uh, CK2, never working in the schedule. Uh, but we do have several weeks here before uh, the end of the month. Things are about to get crazy. A bunch of games come out that I really, really want to play. Uh, so I'm looking forward to those. And, it, you know, one of them's the Hearts Farm 4 expansion. Uh, man, the guns. I'm really, really excited for that one. So, yeah, there's then there's a couple other games, too. So it's going to get kind of crazy at the end of February. So I'm glad that we had a bit of time to to work this uh, the series in. So if you are enjoying the series, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.